So I'm Chris Schaefer, and my question is, how come I've got this great book called The City Secrets of Rome, and how come there's no book called The City Secrets of Baltimore? So after the last Ignite, I came out and said, I have to say something about how fabulous Baltimore is. I'm going to talk about three things tonight. My favorite stuff, some of my friends' favorite stuff, and at the end, remember this, I'm asking you what's on your list of favorite stuff in Baltimore. Cool stuff is hard to find, right? I finally figured out Twitter when I got on the wait list last time to get in. It was, I'm behind the curve. Any interest in changing this? I'm going to ask you to send me your thoughts on how can we change the dialogue of being involved in the creative parts of Baltimore. What are my favorite things? Golden West Cafe, green chili chicken stew. Who's had it? Right. Who knows that when I called them and said, hey, I'm going to be speaking in front of 400 people, I'm going to talk about the Golden West Cafe, they said, eh, I'm not going to give you a picture of it. How about Atman's? Who knows? You go through the line. My favorite part about Atman's on my first day at work is we're going down the line, going down the line, going down the line. If I didn't know what I want, it was gone. They must have learned customer service at the Golden West. How about Nick's Seafood? So, right? Eric Salisbury, thank you for taking this fabulous photograph of Jerry and Tony. Been serving for the 14 years I've been going there, and I love it. Kim Mikuloff wrote in and said, hey, how about Sherwood Gardens? Who's gone there? Great photograph. She was the first one to send a picture, so her kid, Zach, got to be up there in the big screen. Pretty cool. Gwyn's Falls Trail. Who's been on this? So when Mark Dwyer sent this in, I took my kids on Labor Day and we went for a bike ride. How awesome is this? You wouldn't even believe you're in the city limits. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. This one's my favorite. Jay Sakai knows somebody who knows somebody who's got the key to the secret door to the secret padlock to get to the top of City Hall. And he took this picture and he said, when you're up there, you can feel the city breathe. How cool is that? A little bit of local history, think about Fort McHenry. Who's actually gone and thought about the Star Spangled Banner? Here's where we fought the British and we won. But what's the city built on? When you're at Fort McHenry, if you don't understand that it was the Port of Baltimore that built this city, you're missing out on a tremendous piece of history of how we got to where we are today. The cool part of this engagement is that we're moving from an industrial economy to a creative class. I think all 400 of you are probably part of that creative class. And these guys, with Walter Sondheim up to Jay Brody, who I had the good fortune of working with, said it is the creative class that is the future of Baltimore. So for those of you who have had the time to go to Clipper Mill, or those of you who, who walked through American Can before it was done, or went to Weber's when it was beside this huge hulk, what a difference cool parts of Baltimore are making. Silo Point, how about that? All I can say is, Pat Turner, you should have hired me to be this project manager. But he didn't. He sent me an awesome photograph instead. How about the rest of the creative parts of Baltimore? All I'm going to tell you is my secret. If you're headed south on Chestnut Street, you can make a right. For those of you trying to make a left, it just does not work. <laughs> Promise you. Becky, wherever you are, 10 years, my neighbor's been trying to get me to go to the Kinetic Sculpture Race. I finally went. Wow, how cool was that? So uh, for Mr. Platypus, Mr. Hess, you're here. Nice job. You guys rock. Thank you. Um, here I'm starting to bring it home. July 4th parade in Mount Washington. Best part about this parade? is that there's nobody watching it from the side because everybody in the neighborhood is in the parade. <laughs> so all my friends who sent in some suggestions, I couldn't fit them in here in the 15 slides that I had. So here's my list of some of the things that I'm gonna go do based on the ideas that you guys sent me. So think about this. Cool things are hard to find. What would you say if you could say to my friend, what's the one thing you have to see in Baltimore besides Camden Yards? What is it you want to go see? Miracle on 34th Street, Night of 100 Elvises. What could we do with social networking? I admit, I'm behind the times, which is why I ask some of you guys, think about what could we do to change how we communicate beyond Twitter so that if you took a picture on North Avenue, 
where you were having dinner at Joe Squared. I said, who the hell thinks I'm going to be on North Avenue having dinner? Baltimore, what would you write? Send me an email if you want to have a talk. I talked to the Urbanite. They said, be happy to loan us some space and have a dialogue. Great to see you. Thanks for having me.